the dense fog in the heavyweight division that surrounds the WBO title may be clearing up as two foes may be on a collision course for the WBO heavyweight title in the event that Joshua abdicates. Let's talk about it. What's good YouTube, Stormy B-Man, and I'm back with another video editorial. Before we get started, I'd like to say shout out to the LDBC, the Lions Den Boxing Community, and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. The title of this editorial is Duel of the Fates. I came up with this one because at the end of the day, the heavyweight division is in a position to now start sorting itself out with unified champion Anthony Joshua about to find himself to either be all in or out when it comes to putting his heavyweight championship on the line. The WBO title in particular is possibly going to be vacated and the number one contender for that title is former undisputed cruiserweight king Alexander Usyk. Now Joshua may not necessarily want to face Usyk who is by far a better boxer and he may opt for the big money payday against Tyson Fury if Fury can get his matters sorted out. Where does that leave Usyk? Possibly lining up for a rematch of sorts with old foe old Joe Joyce, the juggernaut. The juggernaut and Usyk found themselves facing off in the amateurs, where Usyk was able to outpoint him. But this is the funny thing. As their careers have matured, Joyce went on up to the heavyweight division and has now solidified himself as a prime contender, particularly after staving off an attack from prospect dynamite Danny Dubois in a grueling fight that saw Joyce win and stop Dubois late due to a closed eye the pulverizing jab of the juggernaut proved to be too much for the youthful Dubois with a record of 18 and 0 and 13 KOs Alexander Usyk is looking to now make his name in the division after recently uh, the, turning back the challenge of Derek Chisora. Chisora entered that bout with Usyk 
using uh, an aggressive caveman-like style where he tried to intimidate him with his physicality and his size. Not so much his power because Chisora hasn't really been knocking anyone out. But after two rounds, Chisora's tank had emptied, but the physicality of him still remained enough of a threat to Usyk, who looked very much the smaller opponent in the ring. That being said, his skillfulness, elusiveness, and ability to box saw him victorious over Chisora. Now, the Jargonaut, now 12 and 0 with 11 KOs, has fought the better opposition at heavyweight. Many people have looked at Joyce as being slow, a foot and a fist, but I don't necessarily believe that people. I believe from the outside looking in, Joyce looks a lot slower than he really is. He may not have the fastest of twitch muscles, but he has a certain quickness because he did come up from cruiserweight and he seems to understand how to punch, put his punches together, stay behind a jab. And he has one great thing going for him that a lot of fighters of today wish they could dial in. And that is a sturdy beard, a good chin. This will also help him as the smaller Usyk in a fight if he tried to pour it on against the Juggernaut. He may not be successful in that department, but the, the Juggernaut has proven with that pulverizing jab he has, being a heavy handed man and a huge man at six foot six and typically around 240 plus pounds, he is someone to be reckoned with. His background in boxing is going to serve him well, and he does appear to be a lot more athletic than people give him credit for. Just check his post-fight spinning heel kicks that he does in the ring. Great stuff from a big man. Now, when the two of these men face off again at the heavyweight division, it could be for this vaunted WBO title that Joshua may be vacating. The reason for Joshua vacating this title is with such two imposing fighters breathing down his neck as potential number one contending challengers, that's not the type of challenge that Joshua wants at this time. He's already alluded to the fact that he may be looking to retire soon. Joshua is the type of personality that may be trying to retire before someone retires him. Both of these men, I believe, would be favored in the fight with Joshua. And if by chance Usyk was favored against Joshua, it would simply be because of his size. I am 100% certain that Joshua would not want to face the juggernaut. That's someone who would be able to physically match him and definitely match him with inner intestinal fortitude. I don't believe that Joshua has much courage under the hood and Joyce has already proven himself to be a fierce competitor. With recent victories over Bye Bye Jennings and now Danny Dubois, the juggernaut is looking like the one who's tried and true, the one who's already been tested. In such few bouts, he looks like he has the right stuff. I am a fan of Joe Joyce. If nothing more but simply the fact that he is courageous enough to get in the ring. He doesn't talk all that jive. He just wants to perform when the opportunities are granted. You have to respect a man like that. He lets his talk be done in ring and he has come out screaming. As far as Usyk, there is a campaign behind he 
to obtain one of these heavyweight titles at least because they still want that connection with the European backing with championship boxing at the higher weights. But I don't know that Usyk is truly built to last in that division. It is rather thin right now on talent, but there are some young guys on the horizon who may be catching up fast. Now, back to the two men. The juggernaut would be looking to get revenge against Usyk. It's not like it's a grudge match. It's genuinely a sense of competing in a sport where your paths have previously crossed. But who has gained greater? Of course, Usyk being an undisputed cruiserweight champion means that he may have accomplished much more thus far. However, the juggernaut Joyce has had the most fierce of competition at this weight, and he has come through with flying colors. To me, that gives him favorable consideration in a showdown between the two of these gentlemen, and I would really love to see it take place. These two is probably the second best heavyweight fight that could be made at this particular time. What do you think? My feeling is that Joe Joyce would prevail in this fight, possibly even by a late round stoppage over Alexander Usyk, but Usyk won't give up. He will try until the end, but Joyce may just prove to be a little bit too physical and that jab is something that can bring it all home for him. Let's discuss it further. Let Stormy B-Man know what your thoughts are with this championship grudge match. And we can talk about it until it makes its date. Leave thoughts and comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this match. If you somehow see this going a different way, let Stormy know what your thoughts are. Let's discuss it. I think it's a great fight. This is all I have for you at this time. Until the next time we speak, everyone stay safe. Peace be with you and catch you again soon.